Giggity, PlayStation Show something? PlayStation, PlayStation. PlayStation Technical Presentation by Mark Cerny. There it is. The official It only title. happens a few times. Yeah. <laughs> we are Easy Allies. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we are about to react to what is most certainly the PlayStation 5 Pro. Uh, unconfirmed by myself, but I saw the people who were saying that the link in the post yesterday, if you went to the unlisted I video, I did see that. Yeah. It said PS5 Pro <laughs> in the video. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't silly. know if it's true. I just saw a screenshot. It could be doctored. I don't know. Yeah. Um, a lot of people but... are expecting the price, Daniel Bloodworth, to be astronomical, like 700 US dollar range. So, Huber, here's the insidious thing mm. I am not 100% convinced we will see the price. Ooh, I don't like that, Blood. It is no. a technical presentation. No, They will blood. tell us everything about that PlayStation 5 Pro, but they will not tell us necessarily oh, what please. it costs. We I don't know. We will not stand for that, Blood Earth. We will not stand <laughs> for that. Get everybody hyped up, but don't let them yeah. down yet. I know it's wishful thinking. I just have to put the positive energy out there for a small, original PlayStation 5 price cut. I know that's not happening. Price increases have happened this generation, I know. But if the base PlayStation could just go down like 50 yeah. I think that would help sting the the inevitable price of the Pro. Just give us that $50 discount for the basic model. Did you see they just raised the prices on the controllers yes, $5? Yes, <laughs> yes, I did. I did. Yes. And they raised the prices in Japan. So it's like as badly yeah, as they need a price cut. I know. I just oh, wanted to put it out there man. for hope. Just for hope. Mm-hmm. But oh man, I don't know. Any... I'm curious what they're gonna do to show it off, though, because like you gotta, you gotta sell this thing, right? Before it was just like, okay, we want 4K, and the PS4 wasn't doing any kind of 4K, so they came up, you know, with the checkerboard, or whatever. Yeah. And now it's like, I don't know what's it, what's it gonna be? Yeah. You know, like you look at like Astrobot dumping a million balls <laughs> into the arena the second you like beat a boss or something it's like mm -hmm. well that's always already amazing oh uh, resolution is not going to make too much of a difference i'm just all about that frame rate you know me yeah but the frame the frame rate's a, a moving target since there have been 3d video games yeah so making the frame like you're always going to get a better frame rate until you don't <laughs> until somebody is like we need that power for something else what about some other crazy stuff bloodworth like if the ps5 the the pro is like fully backwards compatible but then that would be very alienating to yeah other playstations yeah exactly <laughs> yeah and, and the, the fact well that's the other all. question right is do you have to buy the disk drive separately? Yeah. Because that's the case about with that. the new PS5, right? You got to buy it separate. Mm hmm. So, what is it going to be? All of our answer, that, answers will be revealed. All of our questions will have answers that will be revealed. Uh, yeah. Well, the fact that they already are producing those disk drives that you buy separately and pop on, like, it will probably combat be compatible with that. Yeah. So. It's a good call. I wonder if they'll even have much of a size difference because that's kind of my main thing is like, make that thing smaller, dude. Yeah, shrink it down. I want to take it somewhere. <laughs> Blood's always on the go, everybody. Blood's on the move. <laughs> <laughs> um, but man, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, so yeah, the, here's, here's kind of the, if you didn't see the tweet, the setup, or hear the podcast recently, Huber is basically, and no matter what, this thing's like has to like unsell him on a PlayStation Pro. Yeah, I'm uh, easy in the easiest in ever. This is a machine. I, <laughs> Go ahead. I am the opposite. Yeah. Like, there's like next to no chance that I'm buying this yeah. thing. <laughs> We're going on budget. four years. 
mm-hmm. since PlayStation 5 came out. So a nice little trade-in for me after four years is the way to go. This is a machine that I use every day of my life not only for work but for pleasure as well uh so for me it's it's easy you got that very pretty uh, spider-man one though i know i know what am i gonna do people have invested in these these wings put out all these wings and stuff and then they changed the the playstation design so you can't use your wings yeah i would i would i prefer wingless PlayStation 5 Pro. <laughs> Wings chopped. <laughs> One minute and change left. I'll be doing the levels live chat as well when uh, Cerny comes out here. We want to make Cerny nice and audible. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at 42 seconds now. Oh, yeah. I accidentally paused my thing, so I'm a little behind, like 10 seconds. I don't want to mess with anything. I'm like 10, okay. 10 seconds behind you. Not a big deal. Uh, I'm pausing right now. 40, 39, 38, 37, 36, 35. That's where I am, bud. Okay. So I should be just about 30. Six. I might be like one second ahead of you. Perfect. Great, great, great. 30 seconds, chat. And we're going to see this thing. Do you have any audio yet, Bloodworth? Because I don't. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I just heard like some Windows sounds for a second. <laughs> I am good. It's so weird how quiet it is. I know. ESRB. Wait, we got an M rating. We're going to see games. Hi, I'm Mark Cerny. Okay. I'm excited to be here to talk about the newest addition to our All console right, lineup. PlayStation 5 hope, Pro. Hope the audio is good, everybody. advances gaming technology. Right into right first, the game. I want to take just a minute to look at what we put in the original PlayStation 5 and okay. how it delivers an exceptional This is our audio test experience. section. <laughs> hope it's good. Let me know, Blood, if I need to When PS5 it. debuted in 2020, it brought a lot to the table. Eight Zen 2 CPU cores form the brains of PlayStation 5 and enable high-speed complex gameplay with character counts reaching into the hundreds and frame rates that can be as high as 120 frames a second. PS5 has yeah, a powerful RDNA 2 GPU, bit. which can render anything from intricate details to fantastic worlds with vast panoramas to explore. Ray tracing allows for dramatic visual improvements, including reflections off of water or glass. <laughs> you see that frame rate hit. And the realism that comes from real-time global illumination. Uh, frame rate? A custom SSD can load data at breathtaking speed, resulting in ultra-fast transitions between game worlds and data streaming rates so high that traversal speeds are essentially unlimited. You okay? I'm working on it! Tempest 3D Audio Tech brings an unparalleled mm, sense of games. immersion to the sound of the games. Mm-hmm. With audio so real, you may not even need to see the enemies to know exactly where they are. Yo, shout out to Returnal. Hey, Finally, yeah. the DualSense controller has haptics that let you feel through your hands what your character is experiencing inside of the game. It's wonderful to see such variety and richness of game experiences. Creators have made amazing use of the hardware capabilities, but when I talk to them, I do hear about their desire for more graphics performance. The dreams of the developers are bigger than can be supported at 60 frames per second, and that leads to an aspect of modern gaming that we're all familiar with graphics modes it can be a difficult choice for players yo this is what i was talking about well pro Fidelity have modes both. emphasize the visuals typically through higher resolution pro. rendering <laughs> these modes might also have enhanced detail or use more ray tracing but the games only run at 30 frames per second the visuals can be choppier and the controls less responsive performance modes emphasize frame rate and interactivity typically choosing to run at 60 frames per second mainly by reducing the graphical detail until those frame rates can be achieved. When asked to decide on the mode, players are choosing performance about three quarters of the time. 
Three quarters Removing of the time, just that. Or at least narrowing that divide is one of the key targets for PlayStation 5 Pro. We want to give players the graphics that the game creators aspire to at the high frame rates the players typically this is exactly prefer. What to I was do saying. that, PS5 Pro substantially improves over PlayStation 5 in three ways. Here's what we call the big three. First, we made the GPU much larger and increased the speed of the memory it uses. The result is rendering that's up to 45% faster. It seems like a big jump. Second, we made major upgrades to the ray tracing, taking a streamlined and accelerated approach that allows calculation of the rays at double or even triple the speeds of 799 US dollars. And finally, we added custom hardware for machine learning and an AI library called PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution, oh, wow. or PSSR for short. PSSR. PSSR analyzes the game images pixel by pixel and can add an extraordinary amount of detail, which boosts the effective resolution of the games. What? Game creators are adding <laughs> PS5 Pro support to new and existing titles, and with the big three involved, the results can be pretty amazing, with graphics showing something like fidelity levels of detail, but at double the frame rate. Here's the Last of Us Yo, Part Two yeah, running on PS5. Why are you selling me like this? It has <laughs> huge amounts of detail and targets a super smooth 60 frames per second. Ay ay ay. Let's compare this to the fidelity mode on PS5, which is only running at 30 frames per second and is therefore much choppier. I wanted blood. This goal of delivering almost fidelity-like graphics at performance frame rate has been achieved for a broad set of titles, including Marvel's oh, yeah. Spider-Man Spider 2 and Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. We can see that PS5 Pro is close to doubling the power of PlayStation 5. Yeah, but it's Another way the to so you're not seeing is to much difference that one. Pro versus <laughs> performance mode on PS5, both of which target 60 frames per second. What we see here is a difference in detail. PS5 Pro is much sharper and crisper than PS5. For this, my favorite is the parade scene from Ratchet and Clank. Distant details are much clearer. And here we can see Marvel's Spider-Man 2 is noticeably higher resolution throughout the scene, including the trees and procedural cars. Huh? So overall, some remarkable improvement to the games. On PS5 Pro, we can see increased sharpness to the graphics or smoother and more responsive gameplay. This is the big three showing their value. Big three. As you've been seeing, machine learning via the PSSR library Skynet. is being used quite broadly to add pixel detail and boost frame rate. But there are as many approaches as there are game engines. The increase in raw GPU power is being especially effective for Horizon Forbidden West. Apart from the detail boost, that extra graphics power is allowing for improvements to lighting and visual effects, as well as to the hair and the skin in cinematics. Open up, guys. Jar of sorters. Good enough for me. Ray tracing is finding broad usage as well. Particularly when the games are focused on higher frame rates, the faster hardware in PS5 Pro can make a real difference allowing Gran Turismo 7 to add ray-traced reflections between the cars in gameplay. That's you, Blood. While continuing to support their targeted 60 frames per second. That boost in ray tracing is also delivering big wins for Hogwarts Legacy. Allowing not only for better reflections and a greater variety of reflective surfaces, but also for further realism in the casting of shadows. Casting I hope you've shadows? enjoyed this run through of the technology behind PlayStation 5 Pro. Simply the put, space it's the most powerful least. console we've ever built, and a worthy addition to the PS5 family. They should have done a side-by-side side with this that, up man. By giving you a quick look at a number of games See those running ugly on the new space console. reflections compared to the ray tracing. You'll never break a legend, oh, that's the look of it. That's the one. I don't know about that look of that. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what was going around with the sketches and the thing on the PlayStation 30th. Oh, Final Fantasy. It'll be right. It, it'll be worth it.
think this trailer? <laughs> oh yeah, thanks, bud. Boosted. Vertical stand sold separately. Seven hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> The end. Fuck, oh, dude. 700 US so dollars. Fast. That was so fast. $700. Bye. God. <laughs> We're not going to say it out loud. We're just going to look at it. Oh. <laughs> dude, that is. Let me see if I can run it back. Look at those other prices. Pricey. Oh, my gosh. That is pricey. 700. Ooh. 700 pounds, 800 euros. Dude. 119,000 yen. That's unhinged, blood. That is unhinged. Vertical stand sold separately. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is so pricey. Oh, boy. Oh, oh. my goodness. Yeah, Huber, they did not get anything to get me in on that. <laughs> no, especially because they only showed old games. You know what I mean? I mean, if you're trying example, to sell they it, they did show new ones later. Yeah, but like you got to at least the trouble show is, though, something new. I don't but, know. But that's that's the problem though, because a, a performance, you like the games that are already been shown. We've all they're showing those games already in like the best possible True, PCs. Yeah. True. They're showing you those games on four thousand dollar PCs. So it's you show like, oh, this is what Assassin's Creed Shadows looks like on PS5 Pro. It's like, well, okay, it looks like the last time I saw it, <laughs> right? Like yeah. at best. So, yeah. Uh this is very much a. a a, a pro thing this is for those yeah like the ray tracing and cars in gameplay like for gt like that's all that's like that's only for like streamers or something you know like that's only for like playstation to be able to show that off because when you're racing a lot of times you're not even looking at that you know like that's what you yeah. see in the replays and stuff and yeah, and showing the old games too, Blood, you can like clearly see the difference. I guess it is a nice benchmark of like, here is this game on PS5, here is this game on PS5 Pro. But they had to do the digital foundry, like zoom yeah. in side by side. Like with Ratchet and Clank, it's like, I got to look at it. Like, you gotta oh, see oh, it oh okay, person, there it yeah. is. Yeah. There's the, the guys in the crowd. Okay, they're sharper. I get it. I see yeah. it. But Seven, otherwise, is... I wouldn't. Yeah. 700 is steep, dude. If your TV is like 40 inches even, like you probably aren't going to notice, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the, the more ray tracing on things, anything to get us out of screen space reflections. Mm -hmm. And on uh, paper, it's exactly, exactly good. what I wanted. I know I said that on a podcast a while ago where it was like, if the pro was just graphics mode and performance mode both then that's a big sell for me uh granted i was not thinking 699 us dollars in my head <laughs> so i mean box hand i i play on like a 23 extreme. inch monitor like yeah like there are people out there like yeah but yeah, I mean, it's it's a fair yeah, point I mean, that like, it's, it's you know, point. most people, if they can afford a $700 console, can also afford a, a bigger TV. <laughs> yeah. Um, they're, they're not they're not strapped into things like we are. It's like, oh, got to buy that console. <laughs> like, that's part of my job. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty intense. Um, but, there's a lot of other factors and comparisons that can be made uh when when money is involved it's you know different com everyone has a different comparison for you know value when it comes to cash but i, I will say any way you slice it bloodworth 699 us that's a lot is intense any any way you slice it for sure the most the main console like a like <laughs> 
premier console has ever cost, right? Like, yeah. obviously there were things like the Neo Geo and stuff, but I mean like the the ones that people actually bought. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Sony, Nintendo, Xbox, Sega, yeah. Uh, the, the PSSR though is very, it's interesting because obviously that's, that's AI upscaling. That's kind of like bypassing actual rendering. Um, and you know, like DLSS and FSR, like they've had mixed results, right? Like they've taken years to, you know, get to the point that they are now. And, you know, hopefully, you know, that amount of time is benefiting PlayStation and you don't get weird stuff. Like, I'm curious whether that's even a toggle for people, you know, like, it, can you turn PSSR on and off, right? Like if something is not look right and you just want it to be re rendered natively. Yeah. Uh, Blood Earth, I do have the PlayStation blog that someone wanted me to read and I'm going to read this stuff, okay? Oh, sick. Okay, yeah. Uh, There's a lot of boilerplate. Boilerplate, thank you for being in the family. You know, welcome to the family, son, for sure. Um, As many have asked for a console that runs even higher fidelity graphics with smoother frame rates at 60 frames per second. So they're really hammering that language home which i think is really good marketing 60 frames really hyping it up upgraded gpu with ps5 pro we are upgrading to a gpu that has 67 percent more compute units you know cerny talked about all this yeah uh, than the current ps5 and 28 percent faster memory overall 45 percent faster rendering for gameplay uh they talked about advanced ray tracing Provides more dynamic reflection and reflection of light. This allows the rays to be cast at double and at times triple the speeds. Uh, and then they also talked about AI-driven upscaling. Remember the three, the big three. Yeah. Uh, PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution. AI-driven upscaling that uses Skynet technology <laughs> to provide super sharp image clarity by adding an extraordinary amount of detail uh other in other enhancements include ps5 pro game boost which can apply to more than 8500 compatible ps4 games okay that's a big number 8500 yeah. backwards compatible ps5 pro boosted games this is that, feature is that how we're getting is that how we're getting Bloodborne at sixty? Oh my God, Blood Earth! <laughs> this feature may seven hundred dollar Bloodborne tag. <laughs> yeah. This feature may stabilize or improve the performance of supported PS4 and PS5 games. Enhanced image quality for PS4 games is also available to improve the resolution on select PS4 games. PS5 okay, that's a much smaller number. Yeah. PS5 Pro will also launch with the latest wireless technology, Wi-Fi 7. VRR and 8K gaming are also supported. They already were, so that's yeah. not new, but yeah. 8K, dude. That was on um, the box, dude. Yeah. PS5 box in 2020 says 8K. Uh, it's humbling to see how many or how game creators have embraced the latest technology from PS5 Pro, and several games will be patched with free software updates for gamers to take advantage. These games can be identified with a PS5 Pro enhanced label within their title. Some games you can look forward to include blockbuster hits from PlayStation Studios and our third-party partners, such as Alan Wake 2, Assassin's Creed Shadows, Demon Souls, Dragon's Dogma 2, Rebirth, Grand Turismo 7. Rebirth Hogwarts, is good. Yeah, yep. Hogwarts Legacy, Horizon Forbidden West, Spider-Man 2, Rift Apart, The Crew Motorfest, The First Descendant, The Last of Us Part 2 Remastered, and more. We kept the look of the PS5 Pro consistent with the overall PS5 family of products. You'll notice the height is the same as the original PS5, and the oh. width is the same size as the current PS5. Uh, players can add an Ultra HD Blu-ray disc drive or swap out console covers, dude. No so it's more disc than drive. more than seven hundred. That dude, fuck. Oh my god. 
Ay, ay, ay. PS5 Pro fits perfectly within blah, 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 blah. Boilerplate, boilerplate. Compatible with all the accessories. Obviously, that would that would be insane if it wasn't. PSVR 2, PlayStation So you have Portal. to buy a disk drive and you have to buy a stand. Uh, the user interface and network services are also exactly the same. Uh, will be available. Will will be available. Bloodworth this holiday. Yeah, it says November seventh. Sound a little. little oh, lower. I m- I missed that. Got it. No, that's because you haven't got there yet. Sorry. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, six hundred ninety nine US, six hundred ninety nine pounds, seven hundred ninety nine euros. Two terabyte SSD. You could put two Call of Duties on that thing. That's pretty nice. Two terabytes. That's that's good. It should be. Uh, DualSense Wireless comes with it. Copy of Astro's Playroom pre-installed. Is that really necessary to say right now with AstroBot? And yeah, damn right it is. <laughs> You'd think the PS5 Pro would come with AstroBot pre-installed. Honestly, for the premium price that we're paying for this freaking thing, you're giving us Astro's Playroom. We already got that with PS5. You throw AstroBot in there, huh? You know what's not mentioned at all. You were you were asking about. Hmm. Not a single change in that PS5 price. I know. I know. It would have it would have been so nice. If it went down 50, this entire narrative, like I should have been on Sony's PR team, because a fifty dollar price cut for that base PlayStation would be would go a long way. They do have (laughs) a picture of it next to uh the the current the newer PS5. But it's kind of a weird angle. You can't really judge the size exactly. Pre-orders September 26th. Yeah. Oh, what a nightmare. (laughs) Not looking forward to this entire process. But uh, 700. Let me just take a gander. PlayStation 5 trade-in value at <laughs> GameStop right now up to, up to up to $385. So that'll get you more than halfway. You're all you're halfway home. More than halfway home there. That's the move. But then it costs you 300, a little over 300 to get a quote unquote much better console, a new one, a refresh. Still pricey as hell. You got to give up your OG console. Yeah. I mean, but that's it's... that's the move that I as a consumer am looking to. Well, that's the move as you as a professional. Prof- prosumer. <laughs> prosumer. That's, that I, that's really like. The only people that I expect to get into this. This is this is such a, a niche sure. console. There's so few people that are gonna yeah. care about. I think it's that boost. I think it's, it's even a, it's way more niche than a, a Switch OLED as well, blood. I feel like way more. Do you agree with that? I mean, possibly. Yeah, because I think people definitely like. When, especially when you get the OLED out of the box and it's like on that like ridiculous enhanced brightness mode mm-hmm. and you look at them side by side, I think people can see that really clearly. Yeah. Again, I think like without a digital foundry video, like most people, like even something as ugly as screen space reflections compared to the ray tracing, like most people are just not, they're not going to see it. They're not going to know, you know, like we talk about shadows and hair strands and horizon, you know, like people are just not going to know the difference without like, recording the footage and looking at it side by side it's not going to be like oh wow you yeah. know like the the frame rate is probably the closest thing on that and huber i'd like i'll give it a year before we see a ps5 pro game that is not hitting 60 like <laughs> <laughs> yeah it will just get pushed straight up It'll just get pushed down the road straight up Star Wars Outlaws uh, made me a small believer in 40 frames per second. Um, I kind of like that. Oh, but we'll see. We'll see what we'll see what GTA does. 
Oh yeah. That's really what all the eyes are on. That's that's the only digital foundry we need. GTA yeah, well, six GTA running 60. on Series X, PS5, and PS5 Pro. Give us all the versions. What is it gonna be? GTA six. Your move. <laughs> Hubert, if GTA six does run at sixty, somebody is going to like <laughs> go all out to try to break it. <laughs> to, 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 they're gonna like get like a, a thousand cop cars together yeah, in some yeah. place and then hit it with a rocket launcher so you have real tank tank this frame rate <laughs> all righty any uh other final thoughts blood before we get out of here no we're good right. yep I, I gotta go to the dentist in a little bit and i gotta Ooh. get this up on youtube and all that so thank you everybody for yeah. watching with us thank you everybody we are easy allies uh, if you like mm. what you see consider heading over to our patreon patreon.com slash easy allies throw a couple bucks our way that is how we are entirely running uh as well as here twitch.tv slash easy allies uh we'll be back later today with the glorious co-op space marine 2 i'm so excited about this that'll yeah. be at around 5 slash 6 p.m six, will be live yeah 6 p.m for space yep. marine 2 might stream a little earlier than that for something else but 6 p.m for space marine cool uh that was the playstation 5 pro reactions the the uh technical showcase for that and i'm sure we'll also be digging into uh the podcast as well we'll be digging into that heavily we'll be talking about it in detail with the other ls and yep. uh thanks everybody for joining we'll see you later bye bye